Hey guys, Eric here for a quick three pros, three cons on the Trigicon RMR reflex sight. So over the past couple of years, these reflex sights have become very popular. I wasn't truly a believer in them. I wanted to just be steel sights uh, on my Glock, on any of my pistols. But I'm telling you, after a year of giving it some time, I love this, this reflex sight. I wouldn't go back for anything. So if you're looking to get in a reflex sight versus using the normal steel sights, you know, I would definitely make that move. But you have to give it some time and get used to it. So three pros, three cons. Let's start with the cons. Let's get the bad out of the way first. So number one, these little things can be expensive. Uh, they're not cheap, especially the Trigicon brand. But I went with the Trigicon because uh, of the brand itself. It's wear and tear, it's durable. Uh, I went all in on that, and this little guy is definitely expensive. Uh, in some cases, depending on the gun, it can cost more than the gun itself. This is a Glock 19 Gen 4, um, which brings us to the other point is you have to have a gun that will accept this uh, reflex sight. So this is a Gen 4 with the MOS cutout, so the slide has a cutout right underneath here so you can insert this reflex sight. So. That's con number two is you have to find the right gun to accept these reflex sights in a lot of cases. Um, and then number three, the biggest one from an operational perspective of the con uh, that I found over the last year of using this gun was from the draw or anytime I re-engaged the target, sometimes finding the little red dot seemed to be uh, hard or, or onerous. Uh, it wasn't always right there when I drew and presented the gun. It, the red dot wasn't there and you had to kind of look around to find it. And that's tough sometimes and really that was on me from a presentation perspective. Uh, but as I worked on that and worked on my quick draw, every time I come forward now, the red dot is right there when I present it. So it's really quick, really easy. So the three pros are just that, it's quick. Right, so being able to get that red dot there, get it on the target, once it's there, you don't have to look at sight picture, you don't have to look at um, the sight alignment, any of that stuff. You just point, you get the red dot on there and shoot. It's super easy from a training perspective. I'm an NRA uh, a trainer, so you give this to a student and you just say, hey, put the red dot on the target. They, again, they don't have to worry about the sight alignment, sight picture and we can just focus on pulling the trigger and the, and the trigger control and those types of things. So it's really great also from a training perspective. Uh, and then uh, three is just the accuracy. You put that red dot on the site, <clears throat> it's gonna shoot right where you, where you put it. So accuracy is probably number one actually, but I just love about it. And it really, ex it really extends the range at which I'm accurate. So if I was accurate at seven yards, 10 yards before with just steel sights, now I'm back to 15 yards, 20 yards, I can start to hit my targets with this red dot uh, reflex sight. So I love it. Holsters weren't an issue really because it, it comes in at the top. So if, if you're worried about finding the right holster, I didn't have any problems finding the holster. And then uh, a lot of people say, well, what about just from an operational perspective, these things could go out, they could go bad. Well, they could, the batteries could go out. They might not be there when you need it. You can get a higher, you can get a more uh, a longer front sight in case as a backup to this uh, if it does go out but I've seen these things come loose get wiggly uh, and come out as well so these battery the battery life on this is a long long time I wouldn't worry about it uh, and then what's really cool is on this RMR you can just hold this down really quick and then if you're out in the sun or you come inside you can hold it if it's your concealed carry and it'll adjust the light to right where you need it so very sharp so now we're going to show you some pictures through the red dot or the reflex sight, so you can get a good uh, good look at what it looks like. All right, guys. So I'm gonna, like I said, I'm gonna show you what the red dot looks like through it. It's just phenomenal. It's quick. It's easy. It's so accurate. I've got this little the red barrel flag in here, just so you guys know that this is unloaded. So the first thing I'm gonna do is from a draw. Okay. So I'm gonna take this and I'll holster it, and it's really easy. So you've got the target there. Just take it out and present it. You press it forward right there. And then you practice that every single time. And what I'm gonna do is take the camera and show you guys what this looks like through the red dot. And you'll see it right there. There's the red dot. 
Let me get a little closer, a little bit more. There you go, now it's right on target. Hopefully you guys can see that. It's such a nice picture there. It's big, you keep both eyes open, you can see that. And it's steady. And what I like about it is, the other thing is that when you're here, let's just say you're practicing and you're boom, boom, shooting, boom. If you load it with a dummy round, and you go boom and click it just goes click and you don't hear anything you can see that red dot and so you can see if you're moving down like that which is a common problem anticipating the shot and with this red dot this reflex sight you'll be able to see it jump down like that whereas with the iron sights uh you're not gonna be able to see that so it's just a really great uh tool to have and technology to have uh, i would really suggest getting a reflex sight take care